Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is evening prayer for Thursday, April 28th. It's the fifth week in Easter and week four in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 74, and Leviticus 19, verse 26 to 37. And please join me in singing uh, verse 3 of part 2 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts, to the tune of New Britain, and with the Easter Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. When on my head huge sorrows fell, I sought your heavenly aid. You saved my sinking soul from hell and death's eternal shame. Alleluia. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia, Psalm 74. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people, which you purchased long ago, the rod of your inheritance, which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Lift your feet to the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste to your sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your congregations. They set up their ensigns as signs of victories. They have struck like those with axes in a grove of trees. Now they break down the carved work with axes and hammers. They have set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of your name. And they said in their hearts, let us destroy them. They have burned up all the places of God in the land. We see no signs. There is no prophet. None among us knows how long it will last. O oh God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withhold your strong hand? Take it out of your bosom, for you are my ruler of old working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the head of Leviathan in pieces and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You split open the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours and the night also. You have established the moon and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember, O oh God, that the enemy has scorned, that foolish people have blasphemed your name. Do not deliver the life of your dove to the wicked. Forget not the congregation of the poor. Remember your covenant, for the caves of the earth are habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and the needy praise your name. Rise, O God, and plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish revile you all the day long. Forget not the voice of your enemies. The tumult of those that rise against you continually increases. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia.
A reading from Leviticus chapter 19, beginning at verse 26. You shall not eat anything with its blood. You shall not practice augury or witchcraft. You shall not round off the hair on your temples or mar the edges of your beard. You shall not make any gashes in your flesh for the dead or tattoo any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. Do not profane your daughter by making her a prostitute, that the land not become prostituted and full of depravity. You shall keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am Yahweh. Do not turn to mediums or wizards. Do not seek them out to be defiled by them. I am Yahweh, your God. You shall rise before the aged and defer to the old, and you shall fear your God. I am Yahweh. And when an alien resides with you in your land, you shall not oppress the alien. The alien who resides with you shall be to you as the citizen among you. You shall love the alien as yourself, for you were aliens in the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh, your God. You shall not cheat at measuring length, weight, or quantity. You shall have honest balances, honest weights, an honest ephah, and an honest hid. I am Yahweh, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. You shall keep all my statutes and all my ordinances and observe them. I am Yahweh. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all the nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Gather us, O God, and save us from the adversary, that we may rise and praise you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.